the story, uh, and that he's taking time. He's, he's so, Michael is, Michelle is so specific about what he wants, and he knows the look that he wants, and his casting of all the people outside, of course, Sean and Bernice, but everybody else. So those are, those are faces that um, are, are they're the stalwarts of Hollywood, all those character actors that you see in those small parts, and they, they look the part, and they look the period, and uh, their performances uh, support them. I think, yeah, I mean, you can tell when you see the film. I mean, every background player, you know, in, in, or even a lesser supporting role, like the policeman, or, um, you know, someone in the movie, everyone in the movie theater. I mean, apparently they said that the costume designer would line all the extras up and literally, like, go through, like a military, you know. They go through each one, head to toe, head to toe, okay, next, next, okay, you pass, next, next, because they really wanted to make sure that everybody looked, uh, you know, true to the period. And, um, and it, you know, I mean, that style of acting is really, like, like James said, about the eyes and the expression, it is a little bit more exaggerated. Um, he filmed it in... How many frames do you know? 22. 22. Instead of 24, so it's a little speeded up. So all he said to us was, you, you have to elongate your gesture a little bit, otherwise they will miss it at 22 frames because it will go past so quickly. So that's one of the styles of the acting, and uh, it does make a difference, and it, uh, it creates that look. Um, and, but it also means that you have to, of course, sustain that intention all the way through if you're doing a take. You have to be sure that it's filled because we're used to just doing this and it's gone in an instant. So. And I think, um, you know, the other thing that was a little daunting is that there were lines here and there, very sparse throughout the, the script of the story. Um, but we, we had to improvise too a lot of the scenes. So it was really important that we really knew what was going on, we really felt it, and we were really accurate because. You know, if we weren't feeling it, you're, you're not going to feel it. So it really has to be from a deep place in us. I mean, it really has to be real, even though, in a way, it was slightly exaggerated. Don't you all want to know what the cop said to him when he was looking yeah. at you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can read lips, but then you can't, then that is something. It's, every time you see this film, it's best to see it two or three times because it, it has many, many layers. You start to notice a lot of. Uh, things that are introduced in the beginning playback and the whole tension between silence and the spoken word and how you are express yourself and the frustration of it. Um, it's uh, extraordinary. And that sequence where the dog comes out to the cop, just that, just that woman standing there contributed so much to a story as she looked at the cop that you explain to the cop that you should pay attention to the dog. And you get it instantly. You don't need any dialogue. And that's wonderful performance and wonderful acting.